from the drop down list so basically drop down list is used to select the item from the list of items if we select first uh, item from the drop down list its related item will be displayed in the second drop down list with the help of tables so in this example we will see how to create a database its related tables and the relationship that is primary key and foreign key so first we are creating one empty website in that we are adding one new web page that is web form we are adding new database so add new item here you can add any database we are using sql server database you can see over here the default name of the sql server database will be database.mdf we are adding that so the by default database will be added into the app data folder you can see over here within the app data folder database.mdf file is there now from the solution explorer we are creating one table so in the table right click on it add new table first column first table we are going to create is state so state id it will be integer the data type will be integer it does not allow null value because we are going to assign primary key for it state name will be where care in the state id we are assigning primary key so set primary key save table 1 with the name state so you can see here we have the state table similarly we are creating one more table that is city table so city id next field will be city name third field will be state id so it will be integer here we are assigning city id as a primary key to assign foreign key to the state id right select the state id field right click on it and in the relationship click on add now from the tables and column specification open this our primary key table is state and in state we have the primary key state id in the second table we have the foreign key as state id click on okay and close and now we are saving this table with the name city now we are entering two or three data in both the tables so right click on it show table data first id 1 state name gujarat 2 maharashtra 3 Rajasthan Take this table and close it In the city table city id 1 city name Ahmedabad and state id 1 city id 2 Surat state ID one, city ID three, uh, Rajkot state ID one, city ID four, Udaipur state ID three, and city ID five, Jodhpur state ID three. Close this table. now in the default page first we are selecting first we are having one drop down list for selecting the state name so we are having one label over here select state
and here we are placing one drop down list right click on the drop down list choose data source we are selecting new data source in that sql database here we are specifying connection string next we want to display state data so state and in that we are displaying state name state id and state name we are selecting click on next and finish now we have to select data field to display in drop down list so we have to display state name from the state id so we are selecting state id click on okay and one more thing we are selecting enable auto post back now for the second label we are taking one more label for the city we are taking one more drop down list it will be also selected enable auto post back we are taking one button to display name and here we are taking one label to display the selected state name and the city name now in the page load event first we are importing one namespace so we are adding using system dot data dot sql client in the page load we are globally initializing one connection string so sql connection we are creating one object of sql connection con equal to new sql connection in bracket here we have to pass the connection string so from the server explorer this is our database name select this database you can see over here it is having one connection string so we do not have to write this entire connection string instead of that simply select it copy it and paste it so this is our connection string in the page load event we are opening connection so we can write connection dot open we can use open method now in the drop down list one we are double clicking on that that we are initializing one string variable string s equal to select city name from table name city where state id equal to whatever the id is passed by the user so that data will be displayed with the help of drop down list 1 dot selected value we can also use selected item drop down list 1 dot selected item dot value and the completion of the string now we are creating one command object of sql command sql command cmd equal to new sql command in bracket we are passing the query as well as the connection object in the drop down list 2 dot data source 
equal to command dot execute reader because we are using data reader to fetch the data from the drop down list one In drop down list two dot data text field equal to city name and in last drop down list to dot data data bind so data bind method will bind the data with the drop down list to save this code now in the click on button we are displaying the selected data in label 3 so label 3 dot text equal to you can write any message over here you have selected you have selected drop down list 1 dot selected item dot text plus space and CT with the name drop down list two dot selected item dot text. Now we are going to execute this program. You can see over here in the first drop down list we are having three state name but in the second drop down list it does not have any value. So now if we click on the particular list item you can see in the city field drop down list we are having its related city. So we are selecting one of the city on click on button it will display you have selected Rajasthan state with the city name Udaipur. So this is how we can bind our data with the drop down list using the database as well as we can use data reader using which if we select the first drop down list say for example Gujarat its related city will be selected over here you can select any city click on display it will display its related message.